This is the best offense to use day one in Madden 24. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> so long, suckers! It has explosive run plays. Glitch routes for his anti defense. And one play touchdown is going to score from anywhere on the field. So, if you guys want to see what's the best offense using Madden 24 that's giving me results like this, thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. Oh my god! Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. When the beta was live, I got a chance to play Madden 24 for about two weeks. And the offense I'm going to show you guys today was easily the best one that I found. EA has a no capture policy though, so I can't really share Madden 24 content with you guys yet. But I'm going to show you guys this offense in Madden 23, which is basically the exact same game anyway with a few small changes. But this will also give me one last chance to use the Aaron Rodgers-led Green Bay Packers before they become a team that is rarely used in Madden 24 at all. The playbooks that I'm using today are once again my Pittsburgh Steelers offense with the NFL Live set to on. And my multi D defensive ebooks, as these will probably be two of the first two ebooks that I put out next year. I started this game out on offense and I was trying to use a new offensive formation, but after two plays of getting blown up and going backwards, I decided to switch offenses to one of my most reliable formations in the gun tight doubles, which is exactly the same in Madden 24. He's running a lot of man coverage once, so I immediately switch over to the shot fade cross, as the fade route completely destroys man coverages. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> And Christian Watson runs right past his defender for the score. Defense is going to be a challenge though as the Bengals are one of the hardest teams to stop in the game and one of the biggest differences between Madden 23 and Madden 24 is the defense is way better in next year's game. I already have a video planned to show my Madden 24 defensive scheme that is completely lights out so if you guys want to see me expose that in the next video please make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. My opponent mixes up his offense way more than I do though as he is constantly changing formations until he gets inside the five punching in on the very next play to tie the game Damn it! before deciding to go for two. I'll teach you some respect. And since he hit that out route earlier in the drive, I am all over it. He could go all the way. Now up a weird baseball score of 9-6, to six, I see he is still playing very aggressive as he calls an onside kick that I thought was going to go out of bounds. Yeah, you, you know what? You thought wrong. Back on defense and back to Joe Cool picking me apart is I'm going to need to try something drastic on defense to slow this guy down as he now has an extra possession on me before calmly dinking and dunking his way down the field for the go-ahead score. He goes for two once again, only this time he actually gets it with the exact same out route to the other side of the field this time. Very creative. Oh, good for you! Back on offense, I get to show you guys the offensive formation that this video was about and what was probably my favorite formation in Madden 23 in the Gunstack White Flex offense. I told you Madden 23 and Madden 24 are basically the same. There are a few differences in the setups because they did patch some of the glitchier things from this formation, especially when it comes to man beaters, but I'll break that down as it comes up. He comes out spread wide on defense, so I immediately switch over to the inside zone as it's still the most effective run play in the formation. I see he's running a lot of DB fire too, so I line it up again and run it to get to a third and five, only to see him pressing and playing very aggressively with the cover to safety. So I switch to the PA re, which is going to be my one play touchdown in Madden 24 against just about every defense in the game, and put the Y route on a fade. He appears to know this play as he gets back to the two routes. The post route is usually the read, and that's who he decides to follow. Fight. So I just wait for him to follow that route and throw to the other receiver. On defense, he is still dinking and dunking my brains in, so I switched to a defense that I recently made a video about in the quarter normal three double buzz. I'm not going to go over this defense much in this video, but I will have links in the description and at the end of the video, so stick around for that, as this defense has much better results. Well, I bet you here. He barely completes the pass on the next play to get the first down before he decides to bulk up and pound the rock against his much smaller defense, while also killing clock in the process. He spreads me out on the next play to get inside the 10 before pressure steps up to give me some hope of a stop, as we almost get an interception on the very next play, but that hope is dashed to pieces as he beats me on a curl route this time, before going for two on a speed out route instead of an out route this time how creative now down six it looks like he's in a cover four this time so i go right back to the exact same pa replay with the exact same setup break yourself fool if i was right as we walk in untouched on the very first play of the drive to take the lead back 
I left him a lot of time, though. Plus, my kickoff went out of bounds to give him excellent starting field position to start the drive. Oh, come on! He also has all of his timeouts, so he continues to dink and dunk me with short throws before hitting a big one deep down the sideline to get to field goal range. He connects again to the tight end from here to get inside the 10 with only 12 seconds left, but that's exactly what he wants as I stop him on the one-yard line with only seven seconds left and a timeout that he doesn't need as he punches it in for the score. Damn it! He goes for two again as well, but I'm all over it this time. Gotcha, bitch. Only with no chance of a return. At the start of the second half, I try to go for an onside kick, but that's not really my game as I give him great starting field position once again as my kick goes out of bounds. Bruh. I try to switch it up on defense and use some man coverages, but he sees everything that I'm doing and counters it with no problem. As I have no real answer for his pass game or run game, and he is now back inside the five yard line threatening to take a commanding lead. So if I'm going to make a play to stay in this game, the time is now. Fuck you! And that's exactly what happens when we get our third user pick of the game. Back on offense, I start to drive trying to score, but since he's playing safety, I decide to slow it down and take my time a little. So when I read cover three, I switch to the drive H wheel play, put the X route on a streak, and hit the corner route for an easy first down which is a concept that still works well in Madden 24. He desperately switches over to a man zero blitz, so I switch to the drive H wheel one more time, because in Madden 23, you can put the X around the streak and it will get instantly open for a one play touchdown. But this doesn't work very well in Madden 24, as the pressure gets in to blow the play up anyways. He comes out of the exact same defense on the next play, but I am not trying to get into a third and long here if I miss, so I switch over to the inside zone since there's no second level defenders, and we hit a one play touchdown that way instead. Now back to a one point lead, he starts to bulk up to a three tight end set to pound the rock before sucking me in and beating me over the top with a tricky play action fake to get inside a scoring range. I know this guy isn't a field goal type of player so he spreads me out inside the 10 before punching it in to take the lead back before hitting an out route on a two point conversion for like the fifth time today. I hate you. I start the next drive by running as I want to make sure he still respects it so that I can set up the deep passing plays. Psych! As I suck in his safety on the very next play, only to throw it to where his safety should have been. Fuck you! To tie the game one more time. I really get creative on the next play by doubling Jamar Chase high and low. We get another user pick. Gotcha, bitch! And return it all the way inside the 20. From here, a field goal probably isn't enough, and I am too close to the end zone to run clock out and kick a field goal from here. So I start the clock by running it on the ground before hitting the running back out of the backfield for the first. From here, I want to take as much time as possible, so I run it just to run the clock before I use my favorite goal line play, only to get pushed backwards to a third and long. With only two minutes left, I know a field goal would probably result in a loss, so I call the Y sail play one more time and hope that he bites on this drag route to get the deep in route wide open. Perfect. On defense, my secondary is suddenly locking up everything that moves as well. Got as I notice, players like this usually lack the ability to turn off their aggressive nature and play smart in crunch time. From here, I can definitely just run the clock out as a field goal all but puts the game out of reach. So I switch offenses entirely just to run into a run commit wall. I could keep doing it, but I also want that 50 burger. Now up two scores and the game out of reach. He is threading the needle in the tight coverage on just about every play as he desperately tries to score without using any of his timeouts. And then suddenly there is plenty of time left before we get a big sack that kills a lot of clock and might have ultimately saved the game as he has to use a timeout inside the five before punching it in in what is now a meaningless touchdown. Before he has to go for an onside kick, but I ain't letting that happen this time and that's all folks. But not before I get another big carry to get in the field goal range and make him rage quit. See ya! So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the defense that I was using that got like six interceptions on one of the best offenses in the game, I will have that popping up on screen right now. So just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.